everyone and welcome to the first day of December Christmas Crunch. Woo! I'm excited. Are you? Are you guys? Hey, you guys, we are doing the Christmas Crunch Challenge. Today is day one. What we've done is we've designed a different protocol for every day in December. You guys, so many of you guys have lost weight on me, kicking it up a notch in November. I thought I would carry it through with some minor adjustments so that we could all lose weight in December. Hey, if you guys are new and you guys haven't heard about this, please go to the link below to our website URL link. Click on it and there you will find the December Christmas Crunch sheet you can click on the link there and um, you can print out the sheet or you can see that there also you can join our facebook fans loving it on keto with wendy fans and kim helper our admin has graciously posted a jpeg up there you guys can take that picture save it to your phone and you can have it all month long you guys it's really great because you can use your own macros you can eat the foods you like but you could follow this and we're tricking our body into releasing the fat because there's something different every day. Now, one thing I suggest is that you try to eat a different type of meat every day or every other day or so. You know, have eggs, have beef, have chicken, have pork, you know, um, have fish, have shellfish if, if you're not allergic and rotate those also because each different type of meat fish and shellfish have a different profile. They have different vitamins, minerals, and uh, caloric uh, values that are different. And I think that also helps. If you eat the same beef, the same eggs, the same stuff every day, day in and day out, and you're not changing your macros, you're not changing um, your lifestyle, you're not exercising, you're not throwing anything into the mix, your body is gonna settle right there. Mm, because it's a perfect machine. It doesn't want to release any more energy than it has to. So what we have to do is we have to go, okay, today I'm not eating any food. I'm having one meal a day and my body's going, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't have any food. Maybe I'm going to have to release some of that fat when he's got right here, right? And then the next day it's like, oh wow, Wendy's having breakfast, she's having some dinner. Okay, well that's cool, you know, but she's not having quite the amount of energy I need, so I'm gonna release some of that fat from right here. And it just goes on and on, you guys, but it really helps. In November, Harry had four all-time new lows, and I had two. Now we're a little bit up still from the hump of Thanksgiving, but we're coming down the hump hill. Yes, we are. We're coming down. So with that, you guys, I also want to share with you that everything you eat the day before and sometimes two days prior can have a direct effect on weight stall, water weight gain. That includes taking Tylenol, Naproxen, Aleve, over-the-counter medicines, something to take for a cold or flu. You got to read those ingredients because they have sugar in them. You know, when you're not sleeping well, when you're having interrupted sleep, you have a migraine, you have a headache, you have stress in your life, which causes a cortisol spike, all those things have a direct effect on if you're having a weight loss stall or you're having water weight gain, okay? So with that, I wanna share because yesterday was the very last day of our November, kicking it up a notch. We had a nomad day and we actually said we were just having chicken thighs, but we had, there was a little bit of steak in there. And after I put chicken on the plate, Harry goes, do we have some steak? Can I have some steak with my dinner? I said, of course you can, honey. As long as we eat it all in one meal, you can have whatever you like that's keto. So we ended up having some leftover sirloin steak. I've still got um, a cross cut steak in there that we're gonna have to do something with. Chicken thighs, which were absolutely delicious. I used Byron's butt rub seasoning on them, a little bit of garlic powder, salt and pepper. Mmm, they were delicious. I made salted caramel ice cream out of keto chow and we did half heavy whipping cream, half, half and half for our fats in that. We had a cup of coffee, sweetened coffee with our ice cream, with our collagen in it, sweetened with the Khalifa coconut almond milk. So you guys, yesterday, 
I had 3% carbs for a total of 8.9 grams, 55% fat for a total of 65.5 grams, 42% protein for a total of 111.4 grams and 1117 calories. <clears throat> oh, and I forgot, we fasted for 23 hours, you guys, which was awesome. Harry had 3% carbs for a total of 9.4 grams. I'm sorry, sorry. Harry had a total of 3% carbs, 9.4 grams total, 50% fat for a total of 67.2 grams, 47% protein, a little high, 143.1 grams, total calories, 1,238. He was high, but... <coughs> 1,238 is not high for no. calories. Protein because chicken oh, yeah. is lower in fat. The steak is higher. Right. So with the best of our ability, because sirloin steak, you guys, I don't know about your app that you use to track your macros, but ours has a billion, not that many, but hundreds, maybe twenties, tens. <laughs> <laughs> sirloin steaks in there are a hundred times. Anyway, so you have to choose the best one. I always chose generic or unknown or, and I look at the calorie value and, you know, I just choose. So anyway, you guys, with that, Harry's got an appointment with the doctor today, so he's going to have to leave in just a few minutes, but I want him to do the board. Now, this is the November end board. Tomorrow we'll have the first day and the last, and the last day of November and the first day of December on it, but he wants to share our board in review for November, don't you, Harry? Yeah, well, we might as well because this is we're gonna erase this one and start, start with December all over again, right? So, but I take pictures of all this stuff because um, I keep going back and checking them out against the other stuff right. happening, right? So far, we're pretty much going along. It kind of like does this, you know, we're kind of like going along. If, you, if we eat the same food, if we hadn't lose. eaten Thanksgiving, we would be down. We eat chicken. Every time we eat chicken, we lose. Well, because it's Every lower in time. calories and it's lower in fat. In and if we, day. same would be with turkey, if we didn't eat all the other things we had with the turkey, which were, you know, keto, yeah, but we had cheese and salami and yeah. olives and, and broccoli, uh, loaded broccoli. And oh, yeah, we had I, I mash. Don't know about everybody else, I'm not a big turkey fan. I mean, it's okay, but it just doesn't have that flavor. Right. Turkey's kind of blah, so you got to put the gravy on it and all this stuff. You got to have the side of um, yeah, mashed yeah, cauliflower yeah, and stuff yeah, on. loaded broccoli and all the good stuff. Yeah. Okay. So where are so, we today? Well, really, I mean, it's kind of interesting. I, there's a, you know, if you notice, I was at 1271 on the calories and 1238 on the calories, and I lost on both those days. We used to use 106 and 117, so we were pretty close, and we both lost on those Not days. Not 106, 1,006. Yeah, 1,006, you know, but if you look at the protein of 143, and over here, mine was 100, hers was 87, and 111, and it seemed to really work well with what we ate, and on this day... Uh, we ate eggs, if you notice, those chaffles, which is basically eggs, right? And we had some steak, so... Well, the chaffles had a scoop of protein powder. Had, oh, that's it. right. It had the protein powder in it. Yeah. And, of course, the ice cream. And over here, we kind of like... Well, it's not really the same thing, but it's the steak. We had the, the steak. Was oh, that the same kind of steak? Yes. It's a, remember I cooked it all? Yeah. It, it must be lean. I couldn't eat my steak, so I put it in the bag with the cross-cut steak. Yeah. You know... So pretty much the same. We went down. Wendy, Wendy basically stayed the same today. Um, and you went down. And I went down. You went down, down, down. Yeah. Uh, I've lost. Day. I've I've lost basically eight tenths two days in a row. I'm, my body's ready to go back to its its but low. I think. What I want to share with is that you weigh. You end at one seventy four point four, and you started at one seventy eight. Yeah. Okay. So I basically lost what? Overall? Four pounds? A uh, little less. A little less than four pounds, yeah. 3.2. Yeah. And then I actually weighed 177.6. I weighed 176.8, so I lost a little. Now, we had, Harry had four all-time new lows. And if we hadn't have eaten at Thanksgiving, because if you look at Thanksgiving, Harry weighed 173. I weighed 175.4 on Thanksgiving Day, and then we like went whoop. Now we're going whoop. Yeah, that's the hump, man. It's that hump. Yeah. Got to get over the Thanksgiving hump, you guys. 
Gotta go. Ooh. Yep. That's what we gotta do. Yep. So I hope everybody's coming along and joining us. For those of you who haven't already told me, please tell me you guys are in on the Christmas Crunch. You guys are in on the Christmas Crunch Challenge. Yeah, we're curious to know how many people that watch are actually giving this a try. Because I know most people don't like to, don't leave messages. Right. They don't talk about it. But we need to know. But and, oh. it, it helps us know who is trying this out and who isn't it. Right. You know. Did I give our weights? Yes, I did. Did yeah. I? Did I? I? Did I? I think I did. If I didn't, Harry went down eight tenths of a point. I stayed the same. If I showed it to you guys already, I'm sorry. I had a brain fart. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. How embarrassing. Yeah. No, I don't think Which you did. For me, I think you went from there to there. I think is what I you did, did too. Yeah. I'm just thinking I did. Yeah. So, anyway, you guys, listen. I want you guys to tell me today for sure, if you have not already, if you didn't tell me in yesterday's video, how much weight you guys lost on kicking it up a notch. And if you're going to be on the Christmas crunch, because tomorrow I want to come on and give kudos to everybody who was on. Kicking it up a notch in November and that lost weight, you guys. I really, really want to congratulate everybody. You guys are doing awesome. We have a great group of people. And I'm just so excited about December's Christmas Crunch Challenge. Anyway, you guys, we need to um, let Harry get ready to go. He's got his doctor's appointment. I'm stay staying here and working today. So we'll see you guys in the next segment. So you guys, it's 12 o'clock and we're finally kind of hungry. Mom called and really, really, really wants to go out to eat. She says, she's like a little bribery. She says, oh, you and Marty, come on, we'll go out to eat at Olive Garden and I'll buy. So we're gonna go there. I looked at the menu and they've got salmon and steak and some things and you can ask for broccoli instead of um, okay, good because pasta and they can put the sauce and stuff on it. So uh, we are having, I'm having this little skirt steak and Harry is having the rest of the loaded broccoli casserole that I made for Chalice and David when they came. Danger. Yeah, Danger Will Robinson. And then I'm giving him some hamburger. If I can get it out of here, I'll give you some hamburger. And we're gonna heat these up, and that's what we're having, you guys, when we break our fast. Right, Harry? Yep. Oh. And you're having this here steak. And I'm having that that there steak, but I want my steak cold. I know I'm weird, you guys, but I don't really like. Yeah, you like cold things. I do. The only thing I hated cold, I hated cold, was pizza. Oh. I never ate leftover pizza cold. Oh, that was good. I always, nope. I always heated it up. Some Byron. Because then you get the cheese. It's like, ooh, that's hard. just, oh, it's coagulated. It's back to its normal. No, it's coagulated. Again. No, it's nasty. It's you nasty. Get the, you, you get the pepperoni it's nasty. with all the grease it's on nasty. it. It's <laughs> nasty. It's nasty. No. Yes, yeah. it's nasty. How many people like, nope, never mind. Never mind. We're not You're talking gonna, non -keto. You know why? Because everybody that no, did. No, we're not talking cold pizza. We're not here. Sally, I think I dropped one. Oh, you can get keto pizza. Here, it's out here. Yes, you can. And we're not because that would be a trigger for me. I can't eat. We're not because I just got told that my boat just went down the toilet <laughs> because I don't get the boat. You don't. I know. No, you don't. Yeah. It's not a democracy here. No, it is not. Well, then you start cooking, mister. Because we'll be well, we'll no problem. Fire. I'll cook. Sure. No problem. And what would that be? What, what would be what would be a meal? Hamburger um, every night. No. And an egg. You can cook an egg. And an now. egg. I can do you've eggs. Learned. You've learned. I do. Get, I can do eggs. You've broadened the horizon yeah, I, in your culinary skills. Yeah, that's right. Yes, you have. That's right. I, I cook a mean egg. You do. You do. And a great bowl of freaking steam too. Anyway, you guys, I will take pictures of what we order at um, Olive Garden because you can stay keto just about everywhere. And I will make sure we do and we'll share. 
You ready? Mm -hmm. Well, we are at the Olive Garden and Mom and I ordered the grilled salmon with broccoli and Harry is getting the grilled chicken margarita with broccoli. No pesto, it's pesto and tomatoes and broccoli. So I'm having a little bit of salad as you can see with no croutons, just the regular um, Olive Garden dressing on it and I'm having club soda. So we'll come back you guys when we get our grilled salmon and chicken margarita. I'm excited. So this is chicken margarita. It's got pesto sauce, tomatoes, broccoli with some cheese grated on it, a little bit of olive oil. Mine is salmon with lemon and broccoli with a little bit of olive oil and grated cheese on it and it's really good you guys the salmon is delicious so you can eat at the Olive Garden and not get anything that's not keto and that's just perfect look at this you guys mm, it's delicious they've got like a butter garlic lemon sauce on the salmon that's really good and they have a menu it's on this machine the menu will tell you what is gluten-free what has dairy in it what has all the different ingredients through that so you can look at their sauce and their soups and see where the hidden glucose glu gluten wheat sugar and that is so he shared that with us so we picked our items out based on that anyway everybody gotta eat now there's okay. stuck yeah it always just not stuck it just gets tight i guess yeah, look at that look at that whoops Look at that. It's beautiful. Okay, you guys. What kind is it? This one is chocolate toffee. Oh, okay. Before I dish this up, how did everybody do on the first day of December Christmas Crunch? How'd you guys do? We had a wonderful time. We went to um, the Olive Garden. I had salmon and broccoli, and Harry had... Um, chicken and broccoli. But it was called Oops. chicken margarita and broccoli. Anyway, you guys, tomorrow, day two, it's an OMAD day. You guys, tighten down your belts because you're, uh, we're trying to stay as close to 500 calories as possible. Use your bone breath to push you guys through. Remember to fast for at least 20 hours. And you guys, if you can't eat 500 calories, try 600 or 700. Take 100 calories away from your normal macros, you guys, because it'll help push you through, help your body um metabolism and it'll get you guys through to the next day remember use your bone broth i saw a lot of you on facebook are making homemade bone broth that looked absolutely delicious anyway everybody i've got to dish up our ice cream and i'm going to go ahead and call this a night if you guys like what you see please remember to like subscribe ring that little bell so you guys get notification when our next video is up Give us a thumbs up. That helps our algorithm, brings us to the forefront so other people can find us as well. Hey, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow, day two, Christmas Crunch. Good night, everyone.